Hi, this is a quick guide to CrabFit. CrabFit is a group scheduling tool, and it's a way for you to let your teammates know when you're available. Uh, you, whoever set up the CrabFit will then be able to choose the best time for everybody to get together. So when you first click the link to go to CrabFit, it will look like this. And uh, you can see sign in to add your availability. You can see my time zone. And uh, you can see your availability and group availability. The orange places in this color scheme show where uh, Anna is available. Anna is the only person who's filled anything out yet. And uh, the white places in this color scheme mean uh, nobody's available. So uh, first thing I want to show you is the settings up here. I know some people like other colors. I've got a friend who really likes autumn. And uh, it changes what the colors mean. So in this one, red means no way and nobody's uh, available. And yellow means somebody is available. So remember, this is a group, group availability view. There's also your availability view. You notice I can't click on it. It's got the little circle uh, X out thing. And that's because I'm going to set the, the uh, colors back to CrabFit Classic, which is what I like. Um, you won't be able to add your availability until it knows who you are. So I'm going to type my name here, Peter K. I can either put in a password or not. And this username and password is only for this event. So if I come to another CrabFit, it won't remember me. Um, I can put in the same thing again. Uh, if uh, depending on on where the CrabFit link was uh, shared, it may or may not be necessary to put a password. Uh, if it's very public, you might want to put a password. Uh, it's not uh, you don't need to put a super secret password here, but you do need to remember it if you want to change the details uh, that you've put in. All it does is protect the details on this one uh, schedule. So uh, if you don't put in a password, uh, somebody can look and see who's on this. And uh, for instance, I see Anna has already put her details in here. If she hadn't put a password, I could type Anna here and log in, and then I would be changing her availability. Anna's my buddy, so I don't want to do that. I'm going to put my name. So uh, I haven't clicked log in yet. It's still not uh, ready for me to give my availability, but I'll click log in. And now it is. I'm signed in as Peter Kaminsky, uh, Peter K. And my time zone is America, Los Angeles. I could change this if I needed to to a different one. Look at the Americas here. Um, this is both South America and North America. So if I wanted to change to New York, I would look down to America, New York, uh, or up to America, Chicago, for instance. Pick the biggest uh, city next to you, you know, close to you. There's America, Chicago. Uh, this one, uh, it, it will guess your time zone based on your internet uh, address. So um, America Los Angeles is correct for me. So now I can make sure that uh, my availability, your availability is selected. Uh, and I can, I can say I'm uh, available for everything, I'm available for nothing, or if I've got a few things here and uh, it's opposite of what I want, uh, I can switch it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and select none again. Now, depending on your color scheme, white might be uh, not available or red might be not available. Uh, look at how it starts, and that means you're not available for anything. And so I'm going to fill in here which days I will be available. Uh, say I'm available from uh, 9 to 9.30 on Monday, and I'm available from 10 to 3.30 Tuesday. Uh, maybe 7 a.m. to 11 a.m. and 12 p.m. to 3.30, uh, and so on and so forth. And whenever you click somewhere, it starts click and, and drag. You can also drag. Um, it highlights. And uh, if I made a mistake, I can just click to turn off uh, some or, or all of the, the places where I've uh, displayed availability. Uh, so, to recap, sign in, just give your name and say sign in, sign in. Uh, then you'll have uh, your availability ready to go. You can 
try this sync with Google Calendar thing. I think it works pretty well, actually. I like using this. Um, this will lead you through just uh, one or two steps to help you select the calendar for it to look at, and then you can import your um, availability. Uh, it makes sure that all your meetings are white or whatever means not available, and your free time is, is marked. So that's a handy, uh, handy thing, too. And uh, whenever you need to, you can come to this link and see uh, the people who have filled it out. Right now, it's Peter Kay and Anna. Uh, for each of those, you can see their availability. And then if you don't highlight a name, you can see everybody's. The darkest spots are, are the places where the most people are available. And you can see who's available. Um, the meeting maintainer will go through here and probably pick a time. And when they do that, what they can do is just click on this and it copies to the clipboard who's available at that time. Then they can paste it into an email or something like that. There you go. That's CrowdFit. Let me know if you have any questions.